In the modern tasty meal, which most of you now do, which is becoming the modern meal for good restaurants, 10 to 15, say, courses, what happens is you don't do any ordering. The chef orders for you, and you all eat the same thing at the same time, which means you can talk about the food, because you're eating the same thing. When you go to a concert, it is like going to El Bulli. You don't say, I want to hear the second movement of the Jupiter Symphony first. You say, I'm going to the concert, and Mozart is going to tell me what to listen to. Not only is Mozart going to tell me what movements, he's going to tell me what notes to listen to first. I have nothing to do with it. I say, I'm in Mozart's hands. Why shouldn't you be in Mozart's hands? He's better than you are. <laughs> now, here is a typical classical music concert. We start with a Mozart overture, Le Nozze di Figaro. Then we do Mozart's, this is a very good concert, very good music, Jupiter Symphony, four movements, Allegro Vivace, Andante Cantabile, Minuetto, Molto Allegro. It ends with a five-part fugal coda. We have an intermission, which by the way, at Albuli there was an intermission where we moved from the outside of the restaurant to the inside in the middle of the meal. And then we have Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, Allegro, Andante, Scherzo, Allegro, coda. Two things I want to point out. The, the, both of these pieces and most classical symphonies end with a coda. They end with a bang. They know intuitively that how something ends really affects how much you like it. I want to make this as a comment now because we typically end the meal with the dessert, which is not the coda food. The dessert is not usually, in most people's view, the best part of the meal. But in music, you end with a bang. In meals, we typically do not, even in modern meals. The other thing I want to mention, interestingly enough, is if, if you look at these two symphonies, and these are typical symphonies of the classical romantic period, it's the first and the last movement that people like most, and that are the most uh, engaging and dynamic. Isn't that interesting that in the classical musical style, you start and end with the best things? <laughs>